good morning today we can solve one problem in multi view projection in multi view projection we have to solve or we have to draw orthographic views from this uh, type of pictorial representation or this type of isometric figures here we have already given one isometric figure in that figure this view view from this side is represented as front view and view from this side this side represented as side view and first we have to represent one isometric coordinate system like this this axis is represent this axis as y axis and uh, this point is origin and this axis as uh, x axis isometric x axis and this one will be z axis this one will be z axis then this point will become origin next draw the orthographic view this point will become 0 0 from this point this axis is x and this is z and this one y dash and this one y case of the second other right side view on right now I'll know another right side view we have to represent that right side view right side view here front view indicates x is at play x is at play the x axis this is the x axis that means x is at play represents the front view then y is at y is at play is right side view here in this problem y is at play represents right side view right side view okay but with a right side view with a front view in front view will represent here the x axis and distance total distance x axis load mark in the total distance 13 plus 15 plus 12 13 plus 12 25 40 40 plus 25 40 plus 25 now give me point with the distance 65 60 plus 25 65 plus 25 means 90 90 and total distance a total distance 90 mm we are represented here 90 mm in a height front wheel visible on a height total height is equal to 30 plus 20 50 mm and 50 mm height then 90 mm 90 mm length 90 mm length 90 mm length next here platform front wheel visible on the platform and total length is equal to 25 plus this radius 25 it means 50 mm length a platform 50 mm length a platform next 20 mm height z axis along z axis 20 mm along z axis next this uh, total length 12 plus 13 plus 15 is equal to 40 mm in this side it will become 30 mm height This length will become this one 40 and this one 50. Front of the wheel is supply in a portion. Supply in a portion. Next step. Next step. A platform. A platform is vertical edge. This vertical edge is visible in front of you. That distance is equal to this distance is equal to 12 and this height is equal to 30. The 12 mm height is 30 mm. Sorry, 12 mm distance is 30 mm vertical line. Next to 15 mm. 15 mm distance is another vertical line. 
as a vertical line. 15. And the remaining distance will become 30, 30 m. Remaining distance 30 m. Remaining distance 30 m. Okay. This is the front view. In front view, this uh, uh, cylindrical hole is invisible. Invisible. The representative numbers of the graph, the even the axis. The 50 m the midpoint 25 mm vertical at the axis light side will represent the graph. Then radius right here. This uh, diameter of the diameter of the this vertical hole is equal to 20 given. Then 10 mm radius. 10 mm. And the side like 10 mm in this plane so that that lines must be broken line. Broken line. And this is the front view of the object. This total distance is equal to 90. Total distance is equal to 90. Next top of view. In top of view, this circle this circle is completely visible then this uh, semicircle also visible and then the chain will be okay then 20 in 90 mm project area project plus 90 mm here 90 mm 90 mm 90 mm next a width total width is equal to 50 mm Radius 25 mm, so that that width is equal to 50 mm. Over here, one, over here, one is start here. Start here, or a thin line you see that constitute here. 50 mm. Okay. Then midpoint, midpoint of the circle. By 50 mm, 25 mm, 20 mm midpoint of the circle. Then this circle is completely visible in top of view. Radius 10 mm radius circle. Okay, 10 mm radius circle. Then 25 mm radius semicircle. That also visible in top of view. It also visible in top of view. 25 mm radius. Okay. Next step 25 mm. Here 25 mm angular distance. 25 mm on a total 50, 50 mm here distance 25, here distance 25. Total 50. Oh, here, here distance very thick line. Thick line. Next step up to this point. This line will become thick line. Next step here. Cut down. 12 mm here 12 mm in the distance of project here. The small distance will become 12 mm. Up to that 12 mm visible. Next here distance 12 mm. 12 mm. Next 13 mm. 13 mm top will be very line visible out. And that 13 mm project here, 13 mm, this one will become, this distance is equal to 13 mm, 13 mm, and that 13 visible, this distance visible, that straight line visible, next, okay, this one visible, In top of you, this uh, this line also visible. That line also visible. That means this line must be thick line. This distance is equal to again 12. Okay, next right side view. Right side view. Next right side view. First rotate this distance. Project that distance here, here, here. Then rotate the distance. This change 
two meters distance. Okay, this height, right side view, height, height, total height, 50 mm, whatever the mirror distance for the video, the blood distance from front view. Then uh, this uh, side view is completely, is vertical edge completely visible on it. Vertical edge completely visible on it. Base always visible. Base always visible. And this vertical edge is also visible. Right side view. This vertical edge is visible. Next day, here the edge completely visible on it. This is topmost edge visible, then this edge, 30 mm height, E edge, E horizontal edge completely visible, horizontal edge completely visible. Next step. Center line change in it, then this uh, vertical hole invisible, vertical hole invisible, so that it, so that this uh, right side view of that hole is invisible, so that we can represent that hole as we using broken, we using broken lines broken lines. Next step, this uh, slant edge is completely visible, slant edge is completely visible, slant edge is completely visible, slant edge from this point, slant edge is completely visible. Next step, this uh, vertical edge, this vertical edge, 12 mm, 12 mm and the vertical edge visible on it. So the moment the vertical edge is visible on it. Once here from this point, this point is visible. Remaining small portion broken line. Remaining small portion broken line. Remaining small portion broken line. Then this one will be the right side view. This total height is equal to 50. This height is equal to, this height is equal to 20. And this height is equal to 30. This total width, the total width is equal to this width, that width is equal to 50. Total width is equal to 50, that means this radius is equal to 25. And this line is z divided dash, z divided dash axis, and this one, this point will become origin. This small portion will become Invisible. As I showed here, here we look at the small portion of the invisible broken line. Okay, completely invisible, Anna. Completely invisible. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all.